Hi everyone, as a dev working with APIs, you will often test requests against different environments. Examples are your local desktop or local host, staging, production, etc. Postman's environments lets you run a request against different setups without having to rewrite the request. Environments are essentially key value pairs that define the setup you want to test. Some people also use environments to separate sensitive data from shared collections such as keys and passwords. In order to see what environments and variables you're running, you click on this X here. As you see, we are in no environment and there are no globals defined. That is the default when you get started with Postman. In order to manage environments, you go to manage environments here and this is where all the functionality of working with environments rests. Now often, if you import a collection, it comes with an accompanying environment. An example is the Postman test API. This is the collection offered by Postman to test out the product. It can be downloaded here. I already have it, so I don't need to do that. Um, but you'll see here that there is an accompanying environment JSON file. So I click that. In order to import this environment, I click on this link and copy it. Go back to Postman and click on this import button here. I use download from link, enter the URL, hit importing. It says import successful. So, and I see here dump dash postman. This is the environment that I was importing. Clicking on this X, I can see what the variables defined in dump dash postman are. I see URL, ID, some other things, and no globals. Now, as I mentioned, I already have the collection for postman demo server downloaded. So let's look at the first request, blog posts. Here you will see the variable URL under double curly brackets. That's how variables are defined within requests. Now, if I were to run this request in the default no environment, let's see what happens. I don't get a response. When I give it the correct environment, which is dump dash postman and say hit send, there we go, here's the response right away. Now, if I want to create an environment from scratch, I go to manage environments. I'm going to create a local host and a production environment. So I can hit add. Here I'm going to say local host. My local host has a URL defined and it has its own API key. Hit submit. Now I want to create production as well. So I duplicate it using this icon. Click it, change it here. URL is different. So is the API key. Hit submit. I could also have imported an environment by uploading a JSON file from my desktop. The third thing to look at here is globals. Globals are variables that have a value defined across different environments. They have the same value. So I'm going to put in an API key which I need across my different environments here and hit back. Now you'll remember that I also define an API key in localhost and production. So what takes precedence? In any such situation, the environment variables take precedence over the global variables. In this manage environment box, you can see that you can actually download an environment right here using these icons. You can also delete them if you just hit the X. Now, a third type of variable that you'll come across are data variables. You see them in the collection runner. So I'm in the Postman demo server collection. I hit, hit this icon and I get to the collection runner. When you hit run, you see data here. Here is where you can enter a file that has all your data variables. These data variables are used to run a large number of variations of the same request quickly and easily. There are also other use cases. These data variables take precedence over the environmental variables and thereby the global variables. We will go over setting them up and using them when we talk about the collection runner, which deserves its own video. Environments should make API testing many times faster for you. If you have any questions, please look through our documentation and submit a GitHub issue if you can't find the answer you need. Thank you.